In front of me is an NPC that can enchant your weapons in exchange for mythical scrolls. It just got added in update 20 and some of the buffs are broken. Like how you can add lightning damage to your weapons or even deal extra damage to fruit users. So today we're going to be spending a bit of Robux to get OP enchants on every mythical weapon in Blockstreet. Now there are currently two ways you can get scrolls in game. You can either buy them through the shop, which I don't recommend because you're going to be paying 800 Robux for five legendary scrolls or 1500 Robux for three mythical scrolls. And your second route is to craft it, which is also going to be complicated. There are currently five different rarities of scrolls in the game. We have common, rare, legendary, and mythical. And to craft each one, you need certain materials that you get from sea events. For legendary, you need five leviathan scales, three electric wings, one mutant tooth, and seven fool's gold. You can already see it's starting to get insane, and we haven't even clicked on the mythical yet. For the mythical, you need one leviathan heart, 15 leviathan scales, one terror eye, and 20 fool's gold. And for those of you boys who have even attempted to fight the leviathan boss, you know this is insane. But it gets even worse. If you talk to the the enchant npc and you click craft you'll notice all these other options are locked the only one you have is common i believe i have enough materials for this okay i have enough let's go ahead and craft that there we go we crafted a common scroll now it is in my inventory in order to unlock this category right here i have to craft 10 common scrolls which will unlock the rare scroll category so let's go ahead and craft 10 more one two three four five six seven eight nine let's go talk back to the enchant npc and now we have the rare scroll category unlocked i think you can see where this is going so we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to set out to sea and try to farm these materials perfect now what we got to do is just fight these sharks get the shark teeth we're definitely gonna need more materials so we're gonna have to stay out here for a long time and farm all right there we go shark tooth right there that's the materials we're looking for only issue is we're gonna have to stay out here for a long time we're gonna have to find sharks we're gonna have to fight piranhas we're gonna have to fight ghost ships terror sharks all of the above sea beasts that's not what i wanted to see let's go ahead and just pack them up though as quick as possible oh we just killed the sea beast just in time say less i had like 400 health to spare bro sheesh we're already early in and struggling this much uh i guess y'all can see what's to come bro this grind about to be insane got more sharks got more sharks yes sir the more shark tooth we get the better there we go two more shark teeth yes sir and my boat just got destroyed uh, okay we gotta go back to ticky town get another boat and come back over here all right here we go we finally got a ghost ship to spawn this is where we can get the fool's gold i feel like this is actually like kind of like a bit of a rarer event getting these ghost ships to spawn they're pretty easy to fight though i'm not gonna lie you just gotta spam them let's see how much fool's gold we get from that three fool's gold all right bet there's another ghost ship right here there we go. Three more fools go. Now we just got to do all of that a bunch more times so we get enough materials to craft these 10 rare scrolls. A few minutes later. All right, we got the last sharks we need right here. Hopefully, let's go ahead and hit this boy. We just need two more shark teeth, so hopefully this boy drops the ones we need. Damn, he only dropped one. We're at 27 shark teeth right now. We literally just need one more to craft the remaining rare scrolls. Here we go. We got another shark right here. Boom, boom. There we go. Last shark tooth right there. Okay, now we can go craft the remaining rare scrolls. All right, Dragon Talon Sage, give me the rest to my rare scrolls 10 rare scrolls down now we should have the legendary scrolls unlocked what do we need to craft this five leviathan scales three electric claws one mutant tooth and seven fool's gold we already have enough to craft this one so let's go ahead and craft one right there boom no bro the mythic doesn't show up so we have to craft more of those okay we could only craft three bro oh, we're missing more materials now so right now we need to fight one a leviathan to get more scales we need to fight more ghost ships and we also need to fight more of those piranhas this is going to be a long grind. Realistically, we're probably going to have to do more than one run. All right, there he goes. He said the Leviathan's not there. Go find it before it causes more destruction. All right, say less. Now we can go find the Leviathan. All right, we're fighting a terror shark along the way. Might as well get this thing. Just get some extra materials from him. Here we go. There, we got another mutant tooth. We're definitely going to need more of those. All right, let's get back to trying to find the Leviathan. All right, here we go, boys. We found a gate. They're spawning Leviathan right now. Looks like they didn't bring the boat, though. So we're probably not going to get the Leviathan's heart from this. We're probably just going to get the scales. But let's just focus on damaging this thing as much as possible matter of fact let's go ahead and switch over to magma because that'll be even easier boom let's get this segment down there we go we got three scales from that all right let's go work on this one this segment's almost dead though great magma hound boom volcanic storm we need to get them leviathan scales we need to get as much as possible there we go three more scales we need those we need those i think this is the last segment right over here three more scales getting kind of low bro i better chill i better chill oh red zone red zone red zone we can dodge that hooey leviathan's almost dead a little bit more to go a little bit more to go and there it goes right there now is the truth 
And the truth is, there's no boat over here. So we're not going to be able to get the heart. Oh, my God. We just wasted all that for nothing, bro. Oh, my God. Which one of y'all let the boat die? Boat broke waiting for cloud, I think. No way. They're trying to blame it on me. We still ended up getting nine scales, though. So I guess it's a W. Meanwhile, five hours later, we finally have another Leviathan. This time, we actually do have the boat. So we're about to get this heart out the way. I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy we can get this grind out the way, at least with the Leviathans. If we get one heart, that means we can at least craft one mythical. About to be one segment out the way. Let's hurry up get over there. All right, there we go. That's one segment. Oh, wait, all the segments are already done. Damn, I, didn't, I didn't, wasn't able to get that much fragments or, or, or scales. Okay, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. At least we got the damn boat, so we'll be able to get the heart no matter what. All right, all right, bro. Leviathan only has 200,000 health left. Let's get this all the damn grinding. I know y'all didn't see a lot of it, but trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. It's been like 12 hours off screen grinding just to get two Leviathans, bro. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. There we go. Four scales. All right, we got the heart. Now we just need to take it over to Tiki Outpost. Yes, sir. All right, we're pulling up to Tiki Town. As soon as we pull up to there, we can get the Leviathan heart. And that is one major step out the way. And the Leviathan heart has been obtained. Crazy part about it, though, we're still not done. We're going to need to defeat at least one more Leviathan minimum because we need more scale. All right, boys, we just did another Leviathan run. We're about to get another heart, but I just needed the extra scales. Also, I went ahead and got all the fool's gold and electrical wings we need. So we can craft all the remaining legendary scrolls we need right now done so much run so much time spent let's go ahead and craft some more there's one right there i think this is the last one we need to craft right there all right crafted legendary scroll now we should have the mythical scroll unlocked there we go right there mythical scroll unlocked let's see what's required for this one bro 15 leviathan scales so after all that i still have to farm one more leviathan all right bro all right bro you know what bro i'll be back in one sec i'll be back in one sec it seems like mythic scrolls are the way to go you probably shouldn't even rely on legendary scrolls because mythic scrolls have a 10% blessing chance. All right, I've got the remaining Leviathan scales. Now we can finally craft a mythical scroll. Here we go. Here we go. Dragon Talon Sage. Let's go ahead and craft this mythical scroll, boys. That is an insane amount for one scroll. I'm not gonna lie. If we don't get a good enchant, I'm gonna buy the rest, bro. There we go, though. Crafted mythical scroll. Now, what weapon do I want to use it on first? Let's go with the Dark Blade. One of the newly revamped swords in the game. Let's hope I get a blessing for it. Let's put an enchant on there. Mythical scroll. All right, let's hope we get something good, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Agile, elemental, fortune, piercing. Oh, we got a unique stone grip. Damage scales with 40% of your melee stat and 60% of your sword stat. But I'm gonna be honest, that's not good enough. At the beginning of this video, I said we're gonna get OP enchants on all of my mythicals and a unique simply isn't gonna cut it. What I'm looking to get is either a blessing enchant or a curse enchant because blessing or curses have special buffs you can apply to your sword. Like this right here, Storm, where it says chains lightning damage to nearby enemies when an attack lands. That sounds actually busted. Only issue is with that, I ran out of my last mythical scroll and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not doing all that farming again. So firstly, let's use up these 14 remaining legendary scrolls, and then we'll go ahead and buy mythical scrolls. Let's go back to hollow side. Since we got a bad unique earlier, I want to replace that with something good. Hopefully this is going to get addicting, bro. I'm not going to lie. Boxers, they know what they're doing, bro. They know what they're doing. All right, all right. Let's see what we get for this garbage. Let's go ahead and reroll that. Oh, 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 yo, storm blessing for the fourth legendary scroll. Oh, bro, I can't even speak right now. I can't even speak right now. Chains lightning damage to nearby enemies when attack lands affects scales with final damage. Look at this. It's glowing lightning, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Let's go to this NPC. Oh, yo, yo. When I hit him, it like goes, like it hits them both, bro, with the lightning things. I'm gonna use one of my moves. Oh my gosh, you see the little lightning particles? Yo, now I'm low key mad I got this on Hollow Scythe of all weapons. Well, that is the Hollow Scythe crossed off. Next, let's go with a true triple katana. Hopefully, we get something good on here. Another revamp sword in update 20. I like this sword a lot more than I used to, so I do want to get an OP enchant for this. Let's see what we get for the first legendary enchant on true triple katana. Come on, come on, please give me something good. We got sharpshooter unique. Okay, we got a unique for our first roll. Not bad, not bad. Not too bad of a trade-off, but you know what, boys? We need something better. Second legendary roll for true triple katana. Okay, okay, here we go. Unbreakable, unique. Held skills cannot be interrupted. Wait a minute, that's actually really nice. I feel like that pairs really well with true triple katana. So you mean to tell me if I hold this move, I can't be interrupted? Hold on, let's go test this out. I don't believe this. I'm gonna hold dragon hurricane, and he's gonna try to interrupt me. Oh, oh, it's not interrupting it. It's still, he did a whole hold move, and it didn't interrupt it. <laughs> Look at him, he's so confused. He said, what the hell? <laughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. Enchants are going to make the PvP game unbalanced. Let's go ahead and buy some more mythicals. 1,500 Robux for three is actually ludicrous. I'm not going to lie. I don't recommend any of y'all boys buy this, but you know me. We like to pay to win. Yes, sir. Three mythical scrolls. 10% chance of getting a blessing. Hopefully, we can get this. Go scroll. Give me that blessing. Give me that nice blessing. Ah, strong grip. This is like literally 500 Robux per, bro. I need something good. Come on, man. Come on. Masterpiece for 500 Robux. Last mythical scroll. Before we have to buy some more already. This is insane. This game is strong. 
following me. I've never blown through 1500 Robux so quick in my entire life. Let's buy 1500 more. I ain't quitting until I get a blessing or a curse, bro. I am not quitting. Come on, come on. True Tripper Katana, give me a blessing. I literally didn't even get a unique for that one, bro. So much for the damn mythical rates. Please don't tell me I spent 1500 Robux for nothing again. Rage, unique, increases your speed upon dealing damage. Duration scales with base damage. You know what? That actually sounds kind of nice. So I get faster with dealing damage, huh? So this is my base speed. All right, so let's attack him. Let's attack him. Uh, I don't feel that much faster. It's not a big enough boost for me to want to keep it. Let's go ahead and respin. Last mythical scroll. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good, game. I need something good for my true chip katana, so I actually will use it. Oh, brother. We definitely need some more Robux now. 10k plus Robux. All right, let's go ahead and spend it all on mythical scrolls. That's three right there. Six, nine, 12, and 15. That is literally all my Robux spent on 15 mythical scrolls. $100 for 15 mythical scrolls, bro. At this point, let's just speed run through this, bro. Strong grip. Sharpshooter. Oh, oh, curse of the thief. Enemies will always target you and deal extra damage. Kill rewards. XP, money, and drop rates are greatly increased. Yo, I got like a shadow, like lightning ore around me. <laughs> Turns out the game doesn't need my Trigger Katana after all. Okay, so let's see. Enemies will automatically target me, right? Oh, yo, I'm just luring enemies like nothing. What the heck? Okay, but let's 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 see what rewards I get when I kill them, though. Boom. Wait, did I get some sort of like aura around it when I use the moves? Hold on, let's check that out again. Oh, I saw some little purple auras in there. Okay, okay. I want to see what type of extra rewards we get from killing these guys, though. I guess we just got extra money, huh? I don't know if it's worth the trade-off, but I really like the way this looks, so I'm keeping it. So far, we've got Storm Blessing on Hollow Scythe and Curse of the Thief on True Triple Katana. Let's see if we can get on Dark Blade and Curse Dual Katana. Only took $100 to get that curse. Now, I really want to get a good blessing for my Dark Blade, so let's equip that next and see what we get. We have five Mythical Scrolls remaining. Hopefully, we can get something good with that so I don't have to spend too much more Robux. Uh, I guess that's all we got. Rage. Definitely can't settle for that. We need to go further. Unreal. Third time's a charm. Yo! <laughs> No way that worked. C, blessing. Applies C sickness to fruit users when an attack lands. Effect scales with base damage. Bro, look at the blue that has on it. I like that. All right, Switcher, let me hit you. Try to use your devil fruit. Oh, it applied some effect on him. All right, so I'm gonna do it on him. Let's see, try to use your devil fruit, bro. Huh, he can use his devil fruit. So what is exactly does this do? Okay, so I asked someone in the Bloxers Discord. And so I guess seasickness slows down devil fruit users. Well, so far we've had luck on getting curses slash enchants on three of our mythical weapons. We only have two mythical weapons remaining, Curse to a Katana and the Soul Guitar. And obviously we're gonna go with Curse to a Katana next. I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> Soul Guitar, bro? <laughs> nah, we saving that one for last, bro. <laughs> now there's two other blessings that we have yet to get, and that's the burning one and the frozen one. The burning applies burn damage for four seconds when an attack lands affects scales of final damage that actually sounds really good and frozen applies slowness when an attack lands affects scales with base damage that's weird there's also one other curse we haven't gotten yet and that's curse of the reaper health regen is cut in half but you heal 75% of the damage dealt. We won't know until we mess around and find out though. Let's go ahead and roll for the first one on my Cursed Dual Katana. We got Unreal Unique. Okay, okay, off to a good start. At least we got a Unique for that one. Second time's a charm. Not even a Unique. Okay, it's going downhill. <laughs> a few minutes later. And for the last Mythical Scroll, that went by really quick. Let's see what we get. Please, please, Blessing or Curse. Please, Blessing or Curse. Come on, come on, game. Come on. Burning Blessing applies burn damage for four seconds when an attack lands. Affects scales with final damage. It applies a little burn effect. Oh, nah, that's fire, bro. That is fire. Bro's got the best blessing on the best sword. That's what I'm saying. Try an ability. You're right. You're right. Hold on. Let me see. Let me try ability. Oh my gosh, yo. That does such insane damage. Anyways, as I was saying, bro, at this point, I'm happy with what I've got. Last thing we have to enchant is the soul guitar, but I'm not going to lie. As long as I get a good unique, I think I'm chilling with this. Strong grip. I'm actually happy with that. And the reason why I'm happy for that is because I have no gun stats right now take this in right no gun stats and i deal like 598 per shot like look at this 1026 per shot hold on let's see how much my moves do that is 1800 damage when i have no stats in gun that is actually like ludicrous look at this okay this is hitting multiple people for sure but like that is oh, actually insane anyways point is i feel like that is a really good unique to have on soul guitar especially since like you could just spam this gun so easily well ladies and gentlemen that is the complete video finish we managed to get op enchants on all of my mythical swords just like we promised now was it worth the 200 and two days spent grinding to get here Probably not, but it was really fun doing it. So it is what it is.